Hi everyone, this is Menz here. I'm going to be breaking down the E50's armor here in this video. This video is going to go hand in hand with one of my weak spot guides over on my website, wakiru.com. You can find a link in the video description and also at the end of the video, uh, specifically for the E50's armor breakdown. But starting at the front here, looking at the E50, you know, it's known for having very good armor uh, for a medium tank, which it does for a tier 9. However, you know, it does have a pretty large size to it, and while its armor is tough in areas, as you can see, it definitely has its weak spots. But starting from the ground up, let's start at the lower plate here. The lower glacis is only 100 millimeters thick, angled to 55 degrees, which gives it 174 millimeters effective armor. Now, effective armor takes into account the angle of the armor, you know, so it makes it basically harder to penetrate. Now this doesn't take into account normalization, so AP and AP, uh, APCR shells hitting the lower plate actually don't have to go through 174, it's more around like the mid 160 uh, range. So the lower plate is actually pretty damn weak uh, for a tier 9 tank, and you know for a tank that kind of relies on its armor, you're not going to want to get shot here. <laughs> pretty much facing down even down to like tier 7s, they're going to be able to penetrate you pretty damn reliably here. Now moving up a little bit, there's a small little top part of the lower glacis here that is difficult to penetrate. 255 millimeters effective, and then the upper glacis is 320, which is damn good for a tier 9 medium. Uh, just mainly try to hide the lower plate in the E50. Now the main problem with the E50, uh, E50 even with the upgraded turret, its turret front is pretty damn weak. Um, Looking at the turret front here, you know, it falls under 199 millimeters effective armor by just two millimeters, but it's still weak enough to where, you know, tier eights and up are going to have a very easy time to penetrate it. Some sevens and depending on the tier eight might struggle, but it still can't really be guaranteed to, you know, protect you. Whereas some other tier nine mediums have decently strong turrets or smaller turrets harder to hit, you know, larger mantlets and stuff. Like the mantlet is very strong here outside of just the top little bit is 214 millimeters effective. And even going on to the sides here, uh, the side of the uh, turret front, it's, you know, it is definitely hit or miss. Like there is this one little uh, strong bit here where the thick armor from the turret front kind of bleeds over. However, the sides themselves, while 253 millimeters and pretty much auto bounce angles, if people say are throwing heat rounds at you or you just barely angle uh, the turret a little bit, your sides can be penetrated. And there's these little viewfinders here that are pretty weak, uh, down to 60 millimeters effective because there's no armor behind them, but they're pretty much not to say impossible, but don't shoot them because they're not the easiest to hit. You have this small little sliver and one little miss and you hit this red area that you'll bounce off of and yeah it's not really uh the easiest to hit <laughs> you know time after time the cupola itself moving up here it's you know it's not very strong but it has a bunch of different armor values so you can get some bounces off of it uh basically starting at the cupola center here the bottom part uh just it's kind of hard to see because it isn't the largest cupola but it's between 152 and 196 this bottom center area now moving up to the top part um, that goes to 220 and then as you move out um, basically you know it's going to get stronger as you move to the edges because it starts to bend around and gain more angles so the cupola is able to be penetrated pretty easily by you know lower tiers and pretty much again you know Tier 9 and 10 tanks will be able to pen it pretty easily. You just avoid hitting the very top of it if you can and kind of the angled sections on the side. But overall, the E50's front armor, you know, it is still considered a strength. But if people know to shoot your turret front, that can be a very hard thing to overcome because you have a very large lower glacis that you can work around and hide, uh, especially considering the E50 now has eight degrees of gun depression um, that they you know gave it a little buff recently and it, it's just hard to have a very large lower plate and a very large uh, turret front that are both considered weak spots but it's just something to keep in mind 
Um, definitely range is your friend because at long range it is hard to guarantee a shot on the turret front. All right, so let's swing on over here to the side armor. Since it's a medium tank, you're not exactly expecting to have much armor on the side. Pretty much all of it is bad <laughs> for tier 9. And unfortunately, the E50 is pretty large compared to other tier 9 mediums, especially the hull. So it, it doesn't really you know want to get shot in the side because the only armor that you really have is little small bits of the cupola or this small little part of the turret front plate and yeah pretty much everything's going to be able to go through you and then finally swinging around to the rear here as you pretty much could expect here uh it's not strong either like outside of the little angle parts on the turret side and the cupola pretty much the entire back is going to be uh, penetrate it every single time so the e50 while it kind of is renowned as you know having very good armor uh, you know for a tier 9 medium you definitely have to keep in mind that's only in certain bits specifically the upper glacis uh, fortunately it is very large but unfortunately you kind of still have to keep in mind that you're not you know this indestructible tank like a heavy tank at times like you definitely can't say compare it to the E75. So not that everyone treats the E50 that way, but sometimes you can get a little bit overconfident with your armor uh, and kind of overlook its uh, weaknesses. So anyway, thanks for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, should be popping up here if it hasn't already. Uh, there's a link to the full guide uh, for the E50's armor over on wakuver.com and also in the video description below. Thank you again for watching. Have a very nice day. See you around.